Hold on to your tentacles! It's in Gopolis News Time, as usual, Callie and Marie. Let's unveil the current regular battle stages! Alright! I just saw a super fresh car drive by! I want it! Didn't you just fail your driving test last week? Even though we're high up, Judd still sees everything! He loves it here. It's like a giant cat tower. And now the current right ranked battle stages! Splatastic! Remember when Judd fell into the water? <laughs> yeah, he's actually really swelled under all that fur. Hey, look! Someone left a secret prototype running! Oh, someone's gonna get fired! Until next time, stay fresh! I'm wearing a Halloween shirt and Halloween happened almost a month ago. Am I a psychopath? Well, may never know. Hey everybody, it's me again, Marcus Man, and welcome back from our Splatoon in the last episode. We d did the most annoyingest level in video game history. Actually, no, I lied about that. I'm sorry. And in this episode, we are going to do some more stuff in World 3, as well as checking out the gun shop and immediately dying, because why not? Anyways, the first thing that we need to do is be smart and do stuff. Jumper from over here, and yeah. And now we have... Another thing, and, and, Alfred, do it! Yes, Alfred has done it. Undeniable flying object, Bluefin sighting. Let's -a go in here. As you can tell, this is another UFO stage, because... It's Bluefin Depot! Yes, it's crazy. This is literally is Bluefin Depot. It was like an Octo Striker, right? three. Yes, the Octo Striker's back. But yes. This is literally Bluefin Depot. The first time we were here, it was the first level in the game. Second time, Bluefin Depot. Yes. Everything functions like it should normally be. It's literally Bluefin Depot. There isn't really nothing to say here. Like the graffiti is the same. And the starting point is where your team usually is. My god, this is insane right here. But I guess yeah, it's so the feet, his cousin, Chap the Geyser, which isn't actually going to be fire, you can tell already. And shoot some balloons! Because that's what inklings do, they shoot balloons. That's funny that sounds. So I see some crates up there, and these crates would be very useful because they usually contain very secret look like stuff. Like that! So yes, I'm going to check every nook and cranny of Bluefin Depot find this one and it turns out that one is is unreachable so come on go over here so get this we have armor get over here we have part of the level that we're not allowed to see yet up here is the beginning of the level which i accidentally skipped a checkpoint for whatever reason and oh, he's here. He's here. We're alive and waiting. And oh, he's not here again. Ow! Oh no! Oh yes! Now we are here. The fangled, fi the fickled finger of fate. With this ultimate weapon, nothing can stop us now. Everybody knows the fickled finger of fate. Why not? It's the stupid fickled finger of fate. Oh no! And we drowned it. We didn't we didn't drown it. We drowned. Jeez, English. Wow. Wow, everybody, it's English! Wow, amazing! Okay. Seriously, wow. Uh, now let's just climb up the wall and do stuff. Like that! And do stuff like that! And go behind over there. It's oh no! Get that! Oh yeah, go over here and do this kind of stuff. Go well, up there because there's probably a secret. Oh, it's a bubbler special weapon. Oh, it's just an egg, because why not? Oh hey, it's an egg. It's literally an egg. Nobody knows that. Anyways, 
Again, there isn't a lot to save here, but this is the song and score for this level. It's super duper easy, speezy lemon squeezy. Uh, I guess it's there. There isn't a lot of good hiding places, so I guess that's the thing. Oh, yes! It's the Octo Juice UFO hideout! And oh, yes! And we're going to get, get close to the Octo Striker. We just need the bubble or go up here and go over there. We have his cousin, but he's waiting to be killed. And oh, yes, we're here. So you just jump up to that Octo Striker right on here. <laughs> And again, this is this now. This is slightly harder than the last time we were here. Now he has minions, and now he shoots even more powerful versions of his after strikes, like that. So we gotta hit him many times as usual. So yes, and he also cleans off his ink every once in a while. So you have to hit him rapidly with a successive rapid chin. Yes, we've cleared out all the baddies, I think. Uh, actually, no, we haven't. Actually, no, they respawn. Who am I thinking? Okay, we need to hit this guy a certain amount of times until he dies like that. And he is now done. I will done. And because why not? Let's destroy a bubble with a bubble on. A bubble, a bubble plus bubble combat. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, now that we're done with that one, let's do one more. But first, stuff. This is uh, hold on. This is the only existing photograph of the legendary Squid Beak Splatoon. The young man folding his arms appears to be the leader. If you're mistaken, the Great Tour Four had been raging for over a year. And you can see, uh, this one little in the left kinda looks familiar I guess you could assume but yes you, you could see that, that one on the left doesn't he look familiar remember how Sheldon was using his grandpappy's blueprints well it's very commonly assumed that this is his grandpappy and what about that little cat in the middle there that looks familiar oh well I'm pretty sure you can find out. Anyways, on the note of Sheldon, I just remembered something that's pretty dang important because we never forgot to actually give uh, Sheldon's grandpappy's blueprints from the second boss fight. So I'll very quickly do that right now. So, yeah. Then we'll go on to the next level. So, hello, hello, what kind of weapon are you in the market for? Uh, wait a second. Oh yeah, we did go deliver his grandpappy's blueprints. We were we just weren't high leveled enough. Uh, sorry about that. I guess we did. Anyways, uh, now on to the next level of the day. So let's us go all the way there and do some more leveling up and stuff like that. Cause that's what we do with the ink cutters. Oh yeah. Yeah, they were talking about the Great Turf War of 100 years ago. Captain Cuttlefish was also doing that. So apparently he was the leader. And so... The man next to Sheldon's grandpappy... Might actually be... Uh, uh, Captain Cuttlefish when he was just... Really young. Instead. Like when he was like in his 30s or something. But now since that was a long time ago, he's like really... Uh, young. Or, uh, old, I mean. Anyways, here we go. 12... Fl Flutter Junkyard Renegade Robots. Let's go in here with Alfred, of course, and not George, because George isn't in the story mode. And if you're wondering who George is in the last episode, we confirmed that the Octobots are indeed George. So let's super duper jump all the way over here and do these here. Flutters, these things can't be destroyed. Yes, these are Flutters. As soon as you find the key, head in the vaults. So Flutters are much like Spreaders, except they're giant evil robot thingies. And, well, they're kind of, no, to be honest. You can look at the gamepad and see where they are and just kind of see a better view after them. And I'm going to try and complete this entire section right here. And oh, yeah, if they find you, they can start rushing towards you and they clear out areas of ink. But I, fortunately, 
Oh, that was doing good. Check the location of enemies and keys with the gamepad. See, even the game is telling me to do that. But anyways, now we go down here, climb up the wall, and oh, here's another spreader. 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 Yes. See, there's a gushy geyser thing on top of one of the spreaders. That is for late hair. For now, we need to shoot this thing from far and uh, oh, we need to be over there. So we need to lure this thing to the other side so that it waits. Come on, come on, come on. Anyways, now we are overhead and yes. And we saw a little uh, chest thing down there, which I don't actually know what that is, now that I think about it. So, we should see it down there. So I'll try and make this jump, though it might not work out. And... Uh, nope, I didn't do it. That was, that was bad. Bad game design away. Yes, I see the zapfish from up there, but it turns out, uh, I, I don't really know. Anyways, let's just, I'll go over there. I'll go down here, and let's just, oh, so try and find the zephyrs. So, yes. First, we need to go over here and try and hit that thing. And it turns out we can hit that thing. Go over here, jump out of the thing, get our sunk hen scroll, go back in the uh, <laughs> zailfish. The zailfish? I wonder if that's, a, that's even a thing. Uh, I don't know, but anyways. Uh... Uh, anyways, now we have to go to the other side, but watch out for the slutter, please. Come on, oh, hey, it's me. Now, go down there. Turn. Come on, turn. Turn, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now, let's go up there and do some stuff. Jump and use screen running tactics. Go over there. Go down up the ink rails, and I really like this technique. Jump, get that, and go down here. Whoa! And get the checkpointage! And now we are out here. And oh, it's a twin to Galacto Trooper. And get him! Box, and we now have a bicycle helmet. If we get another one, we get fishing gear. And we see a little grate here. We cannot progress, so what do we do? Turn into a squid, fall through the grates. You might think this is, this is where the sunken scroll is, but no, it isn't. It would've been a good place, though. It's kind of blended into it. It's a vault! You'll need the key to open it, bucko! So, yes, we need a vault. There's a vault, so we need the key! The robotic key thing! But not like the one in Mario 64. So, these crates. And oh, we have a Jigdal Aqua Trooper, but he knocked up for a bike helmet, so why not? And now we have the key. So now yeah, we have the key. We have to go open the vault. Why not? I've been saying that recently. I have to stop. And now we don't have a lock pad. We have a propeller. We haven't seen this thing in a while. We use them and we do that. And we hit these things and we do that. And the level over there, it's not inaccessible. That was where we just were. So yes, if you're wondering, that's why. Now let's actually jump to the next section of the area. Or the Octo Octarian probably has the key. Find it with the gamepad. So, we can see the keys on the gamepad. I'm actually going to use it, even though we don't normally use it. But I'm going to use it. So, where is that key? The, the key's somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Come on. Where is that key? Where is that key? Come on. Where is that key? Where is that key? It's somewhere around here. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Now it's over there. Yeah, that enemy had the key the entire time. That guy should be given an award. Because he's really good. I just have to say that, so. Let's do a loop around here. Get the key. Now that we have the key, we can go around and around in a circle of amazingness. Go through the... Uh, the star she blows, that fish deadhead. So now let us go to the beginning 
the thing at the beginning of the level, and we see some uh, crates over there. Normally, we could hop down and do some stuff, but oh, there's also gushers down there. So yeah, but you can hop over, and voila, we're on top of here. And we could also go over here and get some super awesome eggs, fish eggs, or whatever, whatever you call them. Uh. So let us oh, let us hit that. Then go over here, get us that fish, and booyers! Flutter Junk God, Renegade Robux, onward! And we shall be going onward, as it states. So yes. Probably a bad idea to do that, but we did. So another trivia of the day. The first battles of the Great, of the great War ended in victory. <coughs> Excuse me. First battle of the Great War ended in victory for the Octarian forces. The diligent Octarians easily dominated the Inklings, who were unable to wake up early enough in the morning to defend themselves. So yes, as you can see here, the Octarian won, as shown by this drawing, this Japanese drawing. But um, turns out this is indeed Judd. This Judd on the bottom right corner. He turned. It was a Zapfish before. It, it was a Zapfish, but now it has turned into Judd. You see more clearly that yes, it is Judd right here. There's a very clear picture of Judd. But um, yes, uh, and we all know that that is Captain Cuttlefish on the left, not the far left, but just the left, because of his hat, which is the same as Captain Cuttlefish. So let us go to Incopolis. So let us go to Incopolis Square and go to Sheldon. Who has some new weapons? I'm pretty sure. So, hello, hello, what kind of weapon are you in the market for? And so, so here we have all of the new things that are in the market for. However, we are kind of low in cash because I bought some stuff in the last episode, so I'm only going to test them. So, I'm just going to test one of the weapons. So. The, f uh, the first thing to do is the have a splatling, cause why not? Afraid you're lacking in the funds department. I can't part with my babies for less than they're worth. Yes, I know. So let's just test this weapon, even though we're not allowed to buy it. So the heavy splatling, another different type of gear and as you see it just evaporates i don't know how but it, it just happens it just disappears like seriously it just disappears like suddenly appears suddenly appears it's it's weird but anyways it's kind of like the charger but has a heavy duty thing like the 52 point gal build up and it books enough energy and kablooey it gets to have rapid fire for a short amount of time this is really useful to my enemies because they're freaking an easy as pie. Like seriously, this is this is insane. They're they're also kind of easy to mow down walls because you can just do that. However, when you're when you're firing your blast and then go to squid form, it immediately decreases. So be sure to not try and do that. Sub weapon is the splash wall is so the sub weapon is the splash wall again. You, you can throw it. It goes about a, it goes about a mile from you, and you create a barrier. And based on this tube, it runs out. Yeah, standing here, if you throw it, it lands about a mile from you. So if you're standing right here, then if you, uh, wait. So if you're standing here, then you throw it. It lands about a mile from you. Now on to the. Uh, it also is really easy to get a sub weapon because it covers lots of turf. So let me just do that kind of stuff. And come on, there we go. Now we have the sub weapon, which is oh so very simple. It is the Ink Strike Hair, which can defeat all of these enemies at once. Right here and Kabooey! And it defeated most of the battlefield enemies. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that we've resetted and also exited. 
showed off yet another one. I think this could be it for this episode because, of, unfortunately, due to the f due to the showcasing of the weapons, I did not have time to do some online battles. So in the next episode, we we will uh, do some more levels in World Three, maybe even completing World Three, but probably not. And and uh, and chesting out the heavy splatling in battle this time. So. And also earning some cash, because I'm kind of low on it. So, see you guys all next time. Later. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.